Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked Android HD. And uh, I know you saw my latest video uh, when I told you that uh, I was going to quit making uh, YouTube reviews on my Galaxy S5 due to the lack of development, lack of uh, implication in uh, these kind of projects. Developer, developers are not really interested in how to fix bugs and that's why I consider them to be dead now as, uh, as I also promised that I will make a couple of more videos uh, just to thank you guys for all the help all the love you shared with me and this is the one, one of them Eco ROM version 52 just gonna show you in a second so eco version official 5.0.152 based on OG1 as stated here basement version is still OF2 because I hadn't got any time to upgrade my modem and this uh, is how I organized my this beautiful TouchWiz mod with 5x5 five five grid. Uh, these are the main apps that come with this ROM. They are very useful. And uh, this is the toolbox. Sorry, this is the weather widget. Uh, it looks simply beautiful. It's the S4 widget, weather widget and also it has these um, <clears throat> six tools notification bar come on and i'm gonna go through all of this rom's feature features actually because there are a hell of a lot more than one first of one is multi-window i'm gonna start by you know, opening a app in multi-window like this and then let's open another one like downloads down here and this is how it looks like everything is perfectly functional I use multi-window a lot because uh, while, I'm, while I'm driving I use Waze app and power amp at the same time just listen to music and I connect my phone via on auxiliary port to my to my car we have here the slide feature which gives you these three uh, options buttons actually virtual buttons on the screen these are the buttons from right down below the home screen the recent app and the back button Recent app will go and show you all the apps that you uh, recently opened. I don't know if the lag, recent app lag is fixed, but it's, it seems to be better. Um, what else? The toolbox. This is a toolbox. You can modify and add as many. Um, custom apps as you want but I forgot how edit like this so you just slide and then and click whatever app you want to add there like Eco ROM forum for example and if you press it now you'll see clock and then you can browse Eco forum yeah this kind of stuff really beautiful application eco forum just some sort of a tap -a talk based but yeah there is some lag there but not such a big deal this rom is running al latest uh, al kernel powered by synapse application which allows you to control everything on this kernel which is good, Synapse is a good app for modding the kernel. We have Simple Reboot, which allows you to 
reboot your device into recovery or download mode KT monitor which allows you to see your CPU states okay right now random reboot I must have accidentally rebooted into recovery okay so speaking of uh, another features it comes with 3 minute battery mode as you may see here in the top right corner you can customize your battery icons it comes with Viper for Android FX which helps improving the sound quality of any Android phone especially the Galaxy S4 and uh, one one thing I like the most is the lock screen because I think the lock screen is the most important um, let me explain the most important user interface part of the entire ROM because you know you see all the notifications here you must be safe when you unlock your device and as you may see it's the benefits of uh, that geometric mosaic effect which I'm gonna show you by going into lock screen effects and there are tons of, of, uh, tons of effects so the light effect the ink in water yeah it really looks cool the abstract tiles popping colors popping colors came came out with the Galaxy S5 watercolor and my favorite one geometric mosaic yeah, this looks awesome um, I couldn't make uh, a an Antutu benchmark uh, because uh, as I encountered on Albi's ROM I got a random reboot but some 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 one of you guys told me some one of my subscribers told me that I have to activate power saving mode before doing a test I don't have the time to test it again because I have to uh, show you guys uh, also another beautiful custom ROM based on KitKat afterwards so yeah that was with the code ROM code ROM I hope you like it if you did please thumbs up rate and subscribe right down to my channel if you have any questions you'll have the link in the description with all the files you'll need in order to flash this ROM it's actually one big file 1.1 gigabyte file and if you have any questions please write down below into the comment section thank you for watching guys with android is out bye bye